I can't see you. Hang on. Can't see me? No. Can you hear me? That's probably more important. I can hear you. I just can't see you. There's something over my screen. I can call the jail if I need to. I got it. I got one right here. I can't see nothing. Okay, I can see you. All right. Uh, let's see. I guess first off, we'll take up file 2025-7083, Brittany Powell and Timothy Buttleman. Mr. Buttleman's here on a warrant. Sir, I'm the referee of the court assigned to handle these matters. At the conclusion of this hearing, I'll make a recommendation that will become a court order. You have the right to have a lawyer represent you in this proceeding. If you wish, you could hire one, or I could appoint one for you, or you can proceed on your own and represent yourself. Do you know what you'd like to do? Yes. What's that? <laughs> Did you want to have a lawyer or did you want to represent yourself? I'm ready to move forward. Without a lawyer? Yeah. All right. Ms. Humble, uh, what led to the warrant? Uh, Mr. Bottleman's order to pay $173 a month in support. This is an interstate case. It's a balance of $10,390.19. Of that, $200 is in bench warrant fine, $112.50 in fees, $10,077.69 is owed to the other state. There's a payment of $3.33 December 14th of 2022, $43.66 September 14th of 2022. He does have two other cases, one in Kent County. Um, it does look like there was a large payment. He paid a bond in Kent County in March for 2,400, but nothing in Nuevo County. What's the bond here? 1,000. What's that? 1,000. 90 days? Yes. When was it issued? Uh, May 4th of 2023. Actually, it was signed 5-2, but it went into lien 5-4. All right, and sir, do you, do you agree that you owe the amount stated in this case? Yeah. All right. And uh, bond is $1,000. Can you pay that? No, I, I think I got like 100 dollars $100? You owe $10,000. Um, even 1000 is a pretty low bond. I've had a car fall on me. That's about a ten. I ain't that? been able to be at steady work because I had a call fall, car fall. I mean, I need to get out to have it double checked and what's that? You had a car fall? I've had a car fall on me. And You're receiving medical attention for that? Yeah, not in here, but. Well, yeah. What is it that you, uh, what's your profession? I mean, how did a car end up falling in? Um, I was trying to fix the back brakes and my buddy opened and slammed the door and it fell off the jack. Plus I, plus I helped my wife door dash so we can pay some on a daily. Because oh, we get daily pay from that. Right. And this is your wife in here in the courtroom? Yes, sir. All right. Um, Ma'am, can you post uh, Mr. Bowman's bond? I don't have it at this time. Uh, how much, do you have anything close? $27 is all I have. $27? Um, so, sir, you recently paid a bond of $2,400 <coughs> in Kent County? Um, it was supposed to be 700 and when we went to go post it, it was 
uh, I think 1,200 or something. My, my wife can tell you she posted it. I'm the one who posted it. 2,400? I got a hold of Kent County. They said that they would drop it down to 700. And when I went to get them out, when taxes hit, it was still at 2,400. So. so you paid that? Yeah. That was a couple months ago? Whatever. March 7th. But I can pay it. I, I can pay some on a daily if I can get out because I can door dash and I'm in so much pain from being in here on these floors and oh yeah. Even if I if if I could get a PR right now, I could have fifty to hundred in by five o'clock. Well, I guess why haven't you made payments over the last number of months? I've been broke. I'm just starting to be able to walk around. But you can do this DoorDash every day. I, I wasn't doing it every day. Well, why not? Um, because it's hard to walk and it's hard to drive. And the lake that the car fell on is his, is his driving foot. You guys do it together, right? Yeah, I get out of the car and get the orders and everything. But if I could get a PR bond, I could have fifty to hundred dollars and buy five. And then I can have some more in tomorrow. So the Zubble Kent County kept that whole uh, twenty-four hundred dollar payment. Yeah, there's they have a very low monthly charge, and they kept the whole thing. He has quite a bit of arrearages there, but he also has the ten thousand on this case, and the next case that we will be going over, he has almost thirty thousand in arrearages. <sighs> Jeez, man, what you been doing for all these years instead of paying your support? Been giving them money because I thought it would go with it. Giving them money? So you've been giving the mothers of your children money outside of the friend of the court? Is that what you're trying to say? Yeah. Well, that's not very smart. I see that. I guess we might as well call that case at the same time here. Uh, she, she's not here either. So file 2022-58477, Kendra Bosma and Timothy Buttleman. Um, Ms. Oma, what's the status of that case? Mr. Buttleman's order to pay $199.66 a month. It is an interstate also. He has a balance of $28,661.59. Of that, there's a $100 dollar bench warrant fine, $28,523.09 owed to the other state, $38.50 in fees, received $3.84 December 14th, 2022, and $50.40 September 14th, 2022. Uh, is there anything you want to say in that case? No. All right. Uh, on the 2020 case with the bench warrant, I'll impose the 90 days, drop the bond to 500. Uh, looks like Mr. Bodeman does have an injury, but he still has the ability to uh, work doing DoorDash and could make payments. Um, the uh, 500 would need to be paid before he's released. On the other case, I'll find Mr. Bodeman in contempt for failing to make payments as ordered. Since the 90 days would be suspended as long as you make your monthly payments each and every month. Uh, if you do that, great. If you fail to do so, then that 90 days would be imposed with a $1,000 bond. There's a $100 contempt fine on that case. That one would be 45 days. It is a 2022 oh. case, and there's not been a prior. All right. 45 because it's a first contempt. All right. I'm sorry. So, uh, sir, on the, on the case that I've imposed the sentence, 90 days, 500, I'm the referee, not the judge. You can object to that if you wish, and the matter will be set for a hearing with the judge, or you could accept it. Did you know what you'd like to do? Um, is there any way we could get it lower? I did lower it. I cut it in half. Yeah, that's fine. 
All right, you're all set then. You'll be released with five hundred dollars paid or ninety days expires. All right, you're all set, man. If you uh, have the five hundred dollars, you can. If it's during business hours, you can go to the front desk, and it's after business hours, you can go to the job. All right, you're all set.